if the patient would like to have aggressive care, this, again, evaluation would include for a mutation status assessment for specifically BRAF B600 or the other mutations that might be present and that are targetable. And again, this should be done in the context of a clinical trial. There have been reports where patients have responded remarkably well to combination BRAF and MEK inhibitors where their disease response allowed surgical intervention. A key point during this decision process is, in some instances, logistically, the molecular testing results might not be available. And we present the concept of rich stomach chemotherapy and radiation until this information is available. And in some instances, could it take up to two to three weeks? One should also consider palliative cytotoxic chemotherapy or external beam radiation in these patients for symptom relief. Also, in patients with stage 4C anaplastic thyroid cancer, <clears throat> and this also includes some cases that don't respond to initial treatment selection, if they have high PDL1 expression or high tumor mutational burden, that immunotherapy with checkpoint inhibitors may be effective. Again, preferably, this should be considered in a clinical trial setting if available. 